Hey guys, welcome back to program and today in this episode we're gonna learn how can you install Red Hat in any of the MacBooks with the Apple Silicon. So if you have MacBook Air with the M1 processor or any of the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro or M1 Max processor. So we'll be learning this, how can you install Red Hat in any of the MacBooks with Apple Silicon because this had been one of the most demanded topics on our channel. And we have certainly published a video regarding that we have tried installing Red Hat but it was not possible but we have certainly found a way how can you install Red Hat on the MacBooks with the Apple Silicon processor. So we'll be utilizing a software that is called as UTM virtualization that helps you to create virtual machines in the MacBook and that is completely free of charge and free software that is available. So we have previously even tried to install Red Hat into it but certainly we landed to some issues. And right now we have tested it and it works really well and there is a little bit of a change to be done while trying to install a virtual machine for Red Hat and that we have certainly found out and how we can get it done will be completely guiding you all the steps in this video. So let's get into the laptop and let's try to install virtual machine for Red Hat. So firstly we have opened up UTM and UTM is now running. We need to go ahead click on this plus icon and we need to create and virtualize. So a virtual machine will be choosing Linux and now I'll be choosing an ISO. So we have already downloaded the Red Hat ISO for ARM64 architecture. So if you want to download that link is down in the description below you can definitely go ahead and download that and now I'll go ahead and click on browse. I'll choose the ISO file. So here we have so here we have the ISO file so we'll be clicking on open and next so it asks us for memory so we'll be allotting just 4 gigabytes right now with the 4 CPU cores click on next 64 gigabytes of storage click on next and next and I'll just rename this as red hat save so now we have red hat been ready to for installation I'll just go ahead and click on play so now it has started so i'll click go up and click on this install red hat enterprise linux 9.0 and i'll hit enter so it's starting to boot Okay, certainly we have landed on this screen where it says that we need to select the language. I'll go with English. Okay, I'll select English. Continue. Yes, I want to pr proceed. Yes, I want to proceed. Installation destination. I'll click here. Double click on this. Click on done. Okay, this is done now. Root password. I'll just enter root password for this. done two times okay so it has done with it and now i'll click on begin installation it is going to take a couple of moments now for installation and we'll fast forward the video till the end of the installation and then we'll guide you the steps what is needed to be done to get it installed completely and up running red hat in your macbooks with the apple silicon processor so it's getting installed right now Okay, so now this is done and we'll click on reboot system. And now what we are going to do here is I'll click firstly on control and option to get my curse arrow out. And one thing I'll do is shut down this machine. Okay, so I'll click on OK. And now this has been shut down. Now we have to come to UTM and here we have already have we already have CD and DVD and the ISO file is selected and now if we continue at from this point certainly it will start to reload the installation files once again we need to remove this so we'll click on this and clear okay so we have cleared this out and now we'll start once again the virtual machine so now Red Hat it started 
so i'll just click and enter so now finally we have it ready and it says setup so guys we have finally installed red hat successfully the only thing that is to be done here the only trick part here is that you need to remove the iso file from the cd dvd section the reason for that is if you don't remove it it will start to loop up again and again for the installation and that will cause you the all the error for installation so we have removed that and now we move ahead to the installation and setup start setup so i'll just click on start setup next so if you want you can connect any of your accounts if you want i'll just click on skip i'll enter a name for this okay next password okay. the password do not match okay. so password is done i'll click on next all done start using red hat and now here we have red hat up running no thanks register the system if you want if you can register the system activities is running so we have the file system and everything is up running here if you want you can also full screen this so I'll just try to make it full screen so here we have so right now you can see that it's running into a different resolution it does not optimize for the entire screen resolution that's a little bit of an issue right now with utm so utm does not support utilizing a full screen module for any of the virtual machines and that is certainly one of the break points for it and guys one thing also i would like to update you all about is red hat in parallels so we tried to install red hat in parallels as well but parallels right now does not support red hat os and that is one of the flaws for parallels and certainly we can get that into the next updates by parallel and whenever it will be updated into parallels as well i'll be glad to inform you about that for so for that don't forget to subscribe us and if you liked our video please hit that like button and meet you next episode till then goodbye